Andrews arrived in the Gobi in 1922 on a trip sponsored by the American Museum of Natural History. He would move beyond the Great Wall of China to where even the Chinese feared to step. For beyond here was the land of the Mongol bandits, the warlords, the descendants of Genghis Khan. Beyond here was the impossible desert. was the first Westerner to go beyond the wall in search of the dragon, and the dragon he found. He even had a species named in his honor, Protoceratops andrusi. Chapman Andrews. The servants brought table linens and fine wines. Andrews brought a pearl-handled Colt 45, a handful of scientists, and a Hollywood cameraman to make sure the rest of the world knew how legends were made. It was Roy Chapman Andrews who first discovered dinosaur nests. Until then, scientists only suspected that dinosaurs laid eggs. This conclusion alone guaranteed Andrews a place in the history of paleontology. Andrews would spend almost 10 years in China before modern history caught up with him. Civil war and revolution would finally force him out. There were gigantic things happening in China in the late 1920s. Western scientists have been to this part of Mongolia since Andrews left. Things haven't changed much. 